Hello guys, welcome back to the Watch Attic channel. Today I actually got a watch in the mail that I purchased and it's a Seiko SRP777 or the Seiko Turtle. Now before getting into reviewing this watch, I want to show you guys a little about the history behind the Seiko Turtle. Now Seiko has been making dive watches uh, for about 52 years at the end of 2017, which is a really long time. They have a long and rich history in creating great dive watches at affordable prices. And the original Seiko 6105, which I'll throw up on the screen right now, this is the one seen on Martin Sheen's wrist in Apocalypse Now, which is a great movie. Um, I do suggest you go and see it. And, uh, yeah, but it wasn't the first dive watch that uh, caught, you know, it wasn't the first dive watch, but it was the dive watch that caught the most attention. And that was because this watch had a distinct cushion case, like the watch you see in front of you right now. It was a bit larger at 41 millimeters. It had the crown at 4 o'clock, which was kind of weird. And it definitely stood out during an era of smaller watches. And then the 6309 arrives, or the Seiko Turtle. And that became available in 1977. I'll throw up a picture of that right now. It had a 44 millimeter case, 22 millimeter lugs, or 21 I should say. It had a better movement with 17 joules, and they ended production of this piece in 1988. It lasted a total of 10 years. That was later replaced with the 7002 series, which was a thinner watch and looked a bit different in dimensions. I'll throw up a picture of that right now as well. And then, finally after three decades, they reissued the Seiko Turtle, which is seen in front of you right now the SRP777 and the SRP775. This is the SRP777 in front of you, and let's get into the review, guys. Okay, so now you know a little bit about the history of the Seiko Turtle. Here is the SRP777 in the flesh. Now, I did receive this watch today, and I was really excited. I never owned a Seiko Turtle before, and after watching numerous reviews of this watch over, I would say, the span of a year or so, I finally caved in and I purchased one. Now I paid only $245 for this watch brand new, which is a great, great value, I think. And um, yeah, I unboxed it today. I was really excited that it came. And hey, I think it's a great looking watch. Anyway, it's uh, housed in a complete 316L stainless steel case. We do have a hard Lex crystal, which is Seiko's own proprieta proprietary crystal. Sorry about that. And we do have a lot of Lumabrite on this dial right here. This is in black with a black bezel insert and a black dial. We have your screw down crown located at the four o'clock position, which is very nice. Um, you know, comparing this to something like an SKX, which I think I will have to do in the future, um, that will be a great comparison. Uh, this watch only costs $45 more than the Seiko SKX. This watch does feature the 4R36 movement. Uh, it's a self-winding automatic movement, which has hand-winding capability. It has hacking. This movement also has 24 joules, which is great. It's really accurate. I have the 4R36 and another Seiko watch of mine, the SARY055. And, you know, it really works wonders. It's very accurate. And, um, yeah, it's a great movement all around. It's very tough movement. You can throw these things off a roof and they will survive. Now, getting to the actual case. Um, in terms of case diameter, we do have a 45 millimeter case. It's a bit of a bigger watch. Now this is a cushion case, if you haven't noticed already. It's, uh, you know, it's a bit bigger. It looks a bit bigger, but it kind of wears a bit smaller on the wrist. I thought this watch was gonna be huge, and uh, in reality, it's really not that big but it is 45 millimeters in terms of measurements. Now going to the thickness of this piece, we're looking at 13.3 millimeters. We do, have high, we do have highly polished sides, as you see. Going to the other side, we have that nice high polish. Uh, the polishing is done very well, I do like it. The crown is polished as well. There is no signature on the crown. Although I would have liked to see something like an S or something on the crown, that would have been cool. Or maybe a little turtle, how about that? Anyway, nothing there. But we do have brushing on the top part, and same as the other side as well. Now the crown is located at four o'clock, it is screwed down. We do get 200 meters of water resistance with this piece, 
And I think that's, you know, that's fair. That's good for the price. Now, we do have your day and date over at the 3 o'clock position, just like the Seiko SKX. This is from the Seiko Prospects line, or professional specifications. That's why you see that X over there. It does say automatic divers 200 meters. This is not the Japanese version. This one is not made in Japan. This is the other version. I believe it's made in Malaysia. Yep, Malaysia. Now, um, yeah, very simple watch though. Now, one thing that did uh, blow my mind was this rubber strap. Um, it's really nice. I was really surprised. You know, compared to the rubber straps that come on the Seiko SKX and stuff like that, this one is really high quality. We have a nice signed buckle here, brushed and polished on the sides and even on the lip over here. The uh, keeper right here does say Seiko, which is really cool. Look at that. It is brushed and this is pretty deeply engraved. Now the band is super nice. It's not a low quality band. You definitely do not have to change out this band. It's uh, very flexible and it's very comfortable. We do have some texture on the back as well. What I do like is that the holes are very close together so you can get a perfect fit there. And uh, going to the case back now, the case back also kind of surprised me. Now the case back, we do have your famous uh, Seiko Wave there, which is very nice. And it is polished, and then it's brushed over here, and then it's polished on the outside. This is a screw down case back as well. Also we have the X there, which is pretty cool. It does say all stainless steel, and it does say air divers 200 meters. And I think they did a really nice job, you know, it's highly polished over here as well in the outer parts of the case back or the back of the watch. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Now the bezel action on this piece is somewhat similar to the Seiko SKX. It's uh, really good, very smooth. There's not really that much play, not really if any, maybe a bit of a nudge, but not really. It's pretty smooth sailing. And everything does uh, line up there very nicely. So that's good to see. Now, uh, getting to some other parts of this watch, I want to show you the self-winding feature. Let me unscrew this crown. Here we go. This The uh, self-winding is pretty smooth. And then we can pull it out to the next position. And there we can change the day of the week which is in Spanish and English. And then you go the other way to change the date. Pull it out to the final position. As you can see, we do have hacking on this watch on the 4R36 movement, which is always nice. And then we can set the time. Very simple watch, pretty easy stuff. Now, um, yeah, I wanna throw this on my wrist and get you guys a nice loom shot. First, I'm going to get you guys a loom shot. I'll be right back, guys. Here we go with Seiko's crazy loom. I mean, look at that. It's amazing at this price point that you can get loom this good that lasts this long. Um, it's really quite something, you know. Seiko really gives some luxury brands a run for their money. And uh, as you see, it doesn't even dim. It's a very nice loom, fills in very well on the markers and the hands and the pip at the 12 o'clock position. All right, guys, here's the watch on my 6.2 inch wrist. Let me remind you that this is a uh, 45 millimeter case, and it's a bit of a bigger case. Now, um, I think it fits my wrist fairly well though. If you look at it, it's not really that big. And one thing I forgot to mention, uh, this case has drilled lug holes. Uh, one of the reasons why I picked this version over some others is mainly because of the drilled lug holes. I really like this. You can change your straps out really easily. All you gotta do is push the little pointy end of a spring bar in there and the strap pops right out. Anyway, the silicone strap is super comfortable. I love it. I really do. I'm definitely in love with this watch. Um, Seiko's a great brand. You guys know that already. Um, it offers a lot for the money and this watch definitely offers a lot for the money. Now to pick up one of these watches, I'm not really sure because uh, in reality, this was the last watch from the website I ordered it from. And I really couldn't find any other online. Um, you can try eBay. eBay might have some. Amazon might have some. If there is any left on Amazon, I will leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. But anyway, here's what it looks like on the wrist. Very comfortable. Love the cushion case. Yeah, I think it looks great on my wrist. And uh, 
Definitely have to duel this with the Seiko SKX. I mean, obviously this movement is a bit better than the 7S26 offered in the SKX line, but um, they each have their advantages, I think. And uh, maybe in the future we can uh, do a little duel. The Turtle versus the SKX. What do you think about that? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this watch in the comment section below. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.